Okay, hey you guys, I am MTG here, and we are right here for the TLC predictions. Brody by right here, this sexy son of a bitch. Alright, first on the card is uh, Mickey James versus Alexa Bliss Raw Women's Championship. Now, what people are saying is that Mickey James is not, you know, feels like she shouldn't be Raw Women's Champion. But what I say is that uh, Mickey James, I believe it's, it's, it's her time for a second run. She's up and ready, she looks great, she wrestles great. Very many less botches, and I believe she's just able to do it. And Alexa Bliss, her reign is she's had a very steady reign back and forth, swapping the title. But I believe uh, Mickey, she deserves a second run. And you know, she has had title reign since about maybe 2011, 2010. So I believe Mickey deserves this. A fatal five way match determined this match for Emma versus Asuka when Asuka was very in much injured at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 against Ember Moon and had to drop. Her NXT Women's Championship, the undefeated streak retained, but yet Asuka had to relinquish her championship, but is now brought up to the main roster where she will continue her dominance. And of course, I wonder who's going to win against Asuka. Hmm. And going to the cruiserweight division, we have Enzo Amore versus Kalisto in a rematch from Monday Night Raw, where Kalisto beat Enzo Amore in a lumberjack match, which was tremendous in the main event of Monday Night Raw. In which Neville walked out and was replaced with Kalisto, in which Kalisto won the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Due to all this talk, Enzo Amore hopes to get back the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, in which I, my prediction is that Kalisto will walk away with the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. This mini feud between Cedric Alexander, Rich Swan, versus Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher, just it just needs to end. I mean, hopefully at this pay per view, it, it'll just all go away. Because I'm not really invested in it, but I mean, I just hope the best for him. But in my opinion, uh, Gallagher and Kendrick, you have my full support. You're in for the win. Go ahead. We can't, of course, forget the kickoff show. We got the boss, Sasha Banks, going against the fanatic and crazy Alicia Fox. And this match, you know, you might as well just throw it away, but it might be interesting to watch on YouTube, you know, something for free. Uh, Sasha's, uh, Sasha is obviously going to win this one. So what's the point of, you know, really saying it? You know, legit boss. And now due to big change in plans due to medical issues with Bray Wyatt, we have the demon Finn Balor going one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles of SmackDown. We have Raw's Demon King versus SmackDown's phenomenal one. In just a huge turn of events, I, I just can't pick a winner, but I, I want Styles, but yet I also want Balor. I mean, this is just going to be great. But I, I would have also enjoyed Sister Abigail versus Pumpkin King, but, I mean, we get the Demon versus the Phenomenal one. I, I just can't wait for it. And now we got the main event. We got The Miz and The Bar, Sheamus and Cesaro, Braun Strowman, and potentially Kane. It's potential, I really can't verify. Against Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Ro oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Due to medical issues, Roman Reigns is officially out of the TLC match and being replaced by the Olympic gold medalist, the general manager of Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle, will now be a part of the three-on-four, potentially five, TLC match this Sunday. And my opinion, I this is just changed the match completely. Due to the fact that Kurt Angle has not even competed in WWE ring since 2006. This is just going to be extraordinary, especially in a TLC match environment. Ladies and gentlemen, these are my predictions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click on notifications to be alerted of, any, of any new videos I may upload anytime soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you all, and subscribe.